Hello, everybody. My name, of course, is Jason McDonald, and have had a lot of questions about the title tag. Uh, it's something that is so basic uh, to succeeding in SEO, and yet still people really struggle with it. So I thought, let's review the basics of title tags for effective SEO. So as we get started, of course, reset your YouTube settings so you're at high definition, 720, and maximize the screen so you'll be able to see what we're doing here. Let's first of all talk about the title tag. So you may or may not know, but the title tag, what is in the title tag? Does the title tag have the keywords that you're targeting? Are they in the title tag has an enormous impact on whether your website will show up for a Google search. So getting those keywords in improve your SEO chances. Let's see how that works. So I've got some searches built here. Let's go over to Google. Let's look at reverse mortgage. Let's sign out. So we always want to stay signed out so we see sort of the results that our customers would see. So let's look at a search I built for reverse mortgage calculator. So here's my search on Google. And we want to note the bolding of reverse mortgage in the websites that are showing up there on page one in our natural or organic search results. So let's look over at one of these guys. Let's go down and look at this one right here. Let's look at this one. This one's cool. Reverse mortgage calculator, instant, private, and free. How exciting that is. Let's right click, open that guy up. Let's look at the top of our screen. I hope you can see that on YouTube. But the very top of the browser is the title tag. Let's right click, view page source. Let's find our title tag, reverse mortgage calculator, instant, private, and free. So I'm not going to go into this over and over and over again, but the conclusion is these are the title tags of the pages that are being indexed on Google. You can see by the bolding that there is a very strong correlation between having the keyword in the title tag and showing up on the search results. So your first takeaway is if you want to show up on a Google search, you had better get those keywords in the title tag. Now let's talk about writing a good title tag. Today's video is more about how to do it uh, and less about why to do it. Let's look at the attributes and let's see how a good title tag works. So let's take one of these guys that has a dot, dot, dot on it. So let's take this guy here, dot, dot, dot. Control C. Now I've got a link over here. It's on our website, lettercount.com. It's a great tool. It's one of our free tools that we share with our students. Let's paste that in here. Hit count characters. It's going to tell you the character count, 64. Let's go look at someone else here. Let's look at this guy right here. Try to find somebody who has a truncation. So let's find somebody that's got a truncation with a dot, dot, dot. So let's take this one here that's got a dot, dot, dot in it. Let's paste that into letter count. 60, 64. You're going to find about 66 characters are visible on Google. So you need to write 66 character title tags. Ideally, your power words, your words you're targeting on the left hand side because we're sure those are in the indexes, the first things people are going to read. Secondly, how far after the truncation does Google go? My guess is about 80 characters. And let me show you how. Here's a search for uh, gooseneck barn lights. It's a very strange thing. It came off of a search I did. And I want to show you down here, this guy here, gooseneck barn, and see that dot, dot, dot? Let's look at his title tag. See up here at the very only view source, make it easier for you. View page source, lights. So, my conclusion is Google does index farther than the 66 characters. So I would say a good title tag is less than 80 characters. Most important keywords on the left, 66 is the visible cutoff. Those are your character limits. 66, 80 power words on the left-hand side of the screen. Now, a good title tag has those target keywords in it. Some people have asked, can we just write comma, 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 comma? That's a good title tag. A great title tag makes you want to click. So let's look at some examples of great title tags at work. Let's look at cheap wedding gifts. If you Google cheap, I show up as number one. 
I am the world's cheapest person. Let's put in cheap wedding gifts. And let's look at some of these title tags. We know the title tags have the keywords in them. Now, let's look and let's think about I'm shopping for cheap wedding gifts. Look at this one. Cheap wedding favors, little curly wedding stuff. Curly, that's pretty cool. Look at this one. Wedding favors, comma, cheap wedding favors, comma, bridal shower favors, and that's kind of lame, right? Look at this one. Wedding favors, dash, bridesmaids gifts, dash, wedding collections, cheap. So start to think about writing it in such a way that it's pithy, that it's got the keywords, but it's got a little zing to it. So commas are sort of gauche. This one is better than this one. It's got a little bit of substance to it. And this one's probably even better because it's got just more zing to it. So try to write it in such a way that, yes, it has your keywords, but it's also zingy. So a great title tag motivates you by saying things like amazing, best, something that's going to get you to click. Fourth takeaway, according to the official Google SEO guide, and if you haven't read that, it's on our website. We have links to it, etc. You can find it once you know it exists. There is one. What does Google say? Unique title tags. Different for every page on your website and accurate. So let me go back over here to four. Now let's look at some bad title tag examples. So I did a search for home title tags. So it just says our home page. And these are people that are so out of touch with SEO that they've put our home page in their title tag. So let's sort of tear up a little bit here on Madison County, Virginia. So here's their website. It's number one for this weird search I did, our home page. Look at their title tag. Right click, view page source, welcome to our home page. It's completely lame. What should they have done? They should have named Madison County, Virginia, government resources, official government site of Madison County, Virginia, things to do, reasons to visit, some reason, some keywords that somebody would search. So their homepage title tag is useless. It's focusing on welcome to our homepage. Now let's go in and look at some of their departments. I was looking at facts and useful info. So here we are in population. Right click, view page source. Look at their title tag demographics. So this page is trying to sort of get to demographics. If somebody's searching for what is the population of Madison County, they should have put that in the title tag. So do an inventory of all your pages and hopefully you won't be like Madison County, Virginia, which has a train wreck of title tags on its website. None of them are helpful. None of them help pe get people to the county government. So it needs to be redone. So do an inventory of your tags and make sure they're unique and accurate for every single page on the website. Finally, so what are your best practices for your title tag? First of all, you've got to know those target keywords. You've got to weave the keywords into the title tags in a very strategic, appropriate way, something we teach, of course, in our classes. You're going to have less than 66 characters to work with. That's your visible. Less than about 80 are actually indexed by Google. And you're going to write a pithy, fun, exciting title tag that's going to get the click. So that's the title tag. Those are your best practices. Do an inventory of your website. A little bit about SEO. I hope you're making SEO a priority for your marketing, for your website. Make it a priority. Learn how to do it. Show up at some of our free videos. If you go to jm-seo.org slash free, you'll find a lot more free stuff there for you. So if you have any more questions, post a question to the YouTube channel, send me an email, give me a call. If I like the question enough, I'll make a YouTube video about it. If not, we'll just answer it by email. But I do love teaching, and I like doing this, so don't hesitate with